Hi everybody, Adrian Byrne, Pacific County Health Director. Just wanted to take a, a minute and say that, um, you know, we know there's been a number of businesses that have had an employee uh, test uh, positive for COVID-19 in our community and have chosen to temporarily close just to do a really good um, sanitizing and cleaning. And, you know, even if you were in any of those businesses uh, during that time or recently, it doesn't mean that you were at risk for COVID or, uh, or at very, very low risk for COVID anyway. Our disease investigators uh, still do all the contact tracing they've always done and that we will continue to do. And if someone's positive, then we uh, call them and start doing that contact investigation two days prior to their symptoms starting, which would have been before uh, that day. And uh, then through the time that they were you know, still out in the community until they're no longer, as far as they stayed home, then got tested. So anyone that's a close contact, and a close contact is anyone that is within six feet for more than 10 minutes is considered a close contact. And anyone that would have been around any of those people would have been contacted and uh, be on quarantine for 14 days. If we ever think that there's even one person that cannot be identified during that process, then we do a press release and say, if you've been at this location on this day between this time and this time, please contact the County Health Department because you may have been exposed to COVID. So we haven't done that because all of those were contained. So just a reminder, uh, if you have any symptoms whatsoever, there's lots of viruses in the community. It may not be COVID. A majority of the people that we test uh, and that are tested in the community do not have COVID. It's just some kind of other uh, virus. But the, the symptoms you know, have expanded, cough, shortness of breath, fever, chills, fatigue, uh, muscle or body aches, headaches, sore throat. Uh, still, there's the, the new loss of taste and smell that's been around for a couple months, diarrhea, uh, fatigue. And so again, those can mimic like having the flu and other viruses. Uh, but just to be sure so that you know, you can call 211 and they will schedule you for an appointment. I think at this point, I don't know if we have any um, available tomorrow or not, uh, because we do have a shortened week since we're not uh, testing on Friday and, and not Saturday, but there are other locations around Sedgwick County that are testing. And if you go to our Sedgwick County website, there is a map on there that have the uh, community clinics that are testing, and there's um, a Via Christi Ascension Clinic on Murdoch, and so there are other options that you have. And Murdoch location, I believe, is open on on the weekend, especially Saturday, but you might call there and check since it's a, a weekend and a uh, weekend hol a holiday weekend. And just remember that you know our cases are going up, and what we have right now to uh, help control this is our human behavior and that is of wearing a mask even though they may not be popular and I'm not you know thrilled with them but they're important and so I wear one and uh, if you're ever inside and cannot social distance with six feet please wear one same thing for outside still need to wear a mask even if you're outside if you can't like during a, a fourth of July barbecue. If you're around the table with family and friends that don't live in the same household, then wearing a mask except, you know, to take it off to eat are going to be important. And then the social distancing of staying six feet uh, away. So uh, stay healthy uh, over the 4th of July weekend.